What is a perfect pet? Depending on who you ask, the answer will vary greatly. Uh, for me, the perfect pet is a pet with sprightly, spell-proof, pain-giver, and sharp shot. Uh, once I determine that, I need to ask myself, what pet will manifest all four of those talents? That pet, in this case, is a first-generation sea dragon. Available as a drop from Astraeus, Trial of the Spheres, and Celestia, or if you have the crowns, you can purchase one. When you get your hands on a sea dragon, train it up to adult and then stop. Once that happens, now you have your source pet. Your source pet is what you use to transfer those four talents over to another pet. In this case, my samurai pet. So, once I have my source pet, and I have the pet that I want to transfer these talents to, then it's just a matter of hatching. So I would hatch the sea dragon with the samurai. If I got a samurai egg back, I would train it up to at least adult. If it did not exhibit either of those two talents by adult, I would take that baby and rehatch it with the sea dragon. Again, I would train it to teen. Then I would train it to adult. If it still didn't exhibit any of those two, I would hatch again. Let's say we got lucky and the baby samurai got sprightly at teen and spell-proof at adult. Then I would train it to ancient. If it didn't get that third talent that I want, I would take that pet and hatch it again with the sea dragon. And you just repeat that process over and over and over. Eventually you're going to get lucky and you're going to get all four of those talents on that pet. It could happen in one hatch. It could happen in 500 hatches. Um, so just kind of be patient. Another thing that I look at when I'm hatching pets are the pedigree and the statistics. I want my strength as close to 250 as possible. Uh, my intellect is close to 250, agility. I want the stats from the sea dragon to closely match my new pet. If I were to hatch the sea dragon and the samurai pet, and I got a samurai egg and its strength was only 200, that's a bad pet. Because I may only max out at 8% spell proof, and I want 10. And same for the rest of these. Um, Say I had a, a Samurai Egg and its maximum intellect was only 190. Uh, then there's no way Sharp Shot is going to manifest to its full 6%. So not only uh, do you want to train the eggs as you get them, but you want to keep an eye on the pedigree and an eye on these final numbers here. Because that will make a difference. Okay, everybody. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if I come up with any more ideas on pet hatching, I will make a volume three of this series. Uh, goodbye, everybody.